guy's most recent taste of success when he bagged his fastest world speed record in a very unlikely machine. This year, we did that this year. Last year. Oh, yeah, last year. No. Oh, it was last year. But the goal of the world's fastest tractor, well, it says it in the title, doesn't it? <laughs> was to build the world's fastest tractor. For this project, Guy worked with one of Britain's biggest and most successful engineering companies, JCB. Let's be honest, that would never have happened without them, would it? Never in a million years. And when, when they put their power behind a project, it happens. Along with a team of engineers at JCB. Big job. Engine specialists at Ricardo. I feel like I'm going to trip over the bugger. <laughs> Whoa, you've just walked through the wall. And aerodynamics experts from Williams F1. All right, yeah. Guy built a world-beating tractor. World's fastest tractor. Bloody impressive, man, isn't it? Bloody impressive. He then made his record bid at Elvington Airfield, near York. Look at me in them overalls, hey? Like a right bobby dazzler, don't I? With the project team leader, Alex Skittery. Let's go, Curtis. Just trying to keep up in a chase car. Okay, guy, that looked like a good run. You just park her by your yellow marks. It was a good run. She's quick. She's quick. Guy had claimed an official Guinness World Speed record of 135.19 miles per hour. <laughs> and crucially for JCB's owner, the tractor reached a top speed of 153.77. The bottom line was that Lord Bamford said he wanted it to do 150, and then if Lord Bamford says that, then Lord Bamford, that's what's going to happen. How many millions did they reckon we said? Did we say four million? They're never, but it's going to be something stupid like that, innit?